Face loved to ban Vertigo. But that was in CSGO, and that I am Sydney, Face picked Vertigo versus Moss. A shock to the whole Counter Strike community. Mirage. But if they didn't want Mirage. Oh, they are going to go for okay. Vertigo. Okay, All right. okay, they, this Mouse is wild. Pulls the bluff. I defeated Mouse on it to make it to the finals of the event and win it later. And today we're breaking down the rematch on Vertigo and why FaZe might want to go back to ban Vertigo again. Welcome to how Mouse destroyed FaZe on Vertigo. In the piss round, Mouse were going 5 men towards A site before they execute. And here I like how they play it. No one of them are making any sound, nor are they peaking ramp since the USBS usually wins that fight. And this all plays into the element of surprise for FaZe. FaZe had gotten rain peaking ramp early to get information and he's alone on site, with FaZe going 3 pairs in middle and then 1 on B. FaZe goal is to be able to get information mid and then rotate to the site that will be attacked. And it's why Rain is in such an aggressive position to hold it off from, since it will take the mid pairs longer to rotate to A rather than B. But Mouse execute is late. By the time they are throwing the second smoke behind site, FaZe have already gotten 4 players back site. Mouse double nades headshot, but Kerrigan and Brokey finds a kill each. So it looks like it's an easy pistol win for FaZe. But there is an element of surprise this round, and that is Frozen. He knows Mouse can't just plant and play the bomb. So he decides to go for a high risk, high reward play, and pushes through the smoke, and here he finds 3 kills, and Mouse takes a round. This was all done possible since Frozen heard Kerrigan reload his pistol, and took his chance that maybe he would get 1 or 2 kills. From Mouse. They're gonna throw a deep elevator smoke and they're gonna use one of their nades over towards headshot and that is gonna dink down rain quite a bit. The second comes floating in. Zershin opens up with the first frag in the series. However, a quick response, but now as a smoke fade, Frozen enables himself. That is immaculate. And with sheer majesty, he puts Mouse in the advantage. But has the job been done? Twist. Face have gotten three players on A and are taking ramp while Mouse have sent two players ramp. Here FaZe have smoked Mouse off in bottom ramp, and here I have to show you the coordination Mouse does to make this work. Exertion nades the smoke, and as soon as the nade lands, Torsi flashes, so when the smoke disappears, the flash pops, and this will blind any CT pairs playing behind the smoke, holding when they know Mouse will blow it away. But this leads to no kills. But we can see how strong a flash and nade combo on the smoke can be. Mouse tries to take A, and here both FaZe and Mouse fails. And it's not pretty with both finding one kill, but most are not able to take sight since they get stuck in scaffolding and they decide to run back to B. Here Rops alone on B fails. After he gets Molotov, he can get one kill before dying and most can take sight using the default radiator smoke and then walking up on a flash. And here Kerrigan goes huge finding two kills and they sleep Frozen in a 1v2 and FaZe takes a round after Rain found a nice angle to kill Frozen from. There. These rotation of the phase are going to have to be fierce because Miles are looking to execute. Gearing up here, getting ready to burn it in towards that B bomb site. Good news is for FaZe, though, they've kind of read into this. There's close rotations arriving onto the scene here. Yimfat, another opportunity. He does so much damage that Huey's Molly effective here. Brokey in the back of the site will get taken care of by a quick kill from Frozen, but Kerrigan still stands alongside Rain here. It's just Kerrigan, though, on the site here from back of Generator. Gonna knock down another here. Frozen left into a clutch. The right man for the job here, looking to fight towards the back of Generator. There's time here to... Going into this round, Mouse do not have the best buy. No, not a store, but they're going into this round with two deagles and a Galil, but FaZe are living the good life with an AWP and four rifles. But Mouse falls back to the pistol round strat by sending a bunch of players in ramp and not showing themselves, and this works wonders. FaZe are set up with two players on A, and these two players are not seeing anything for 30 seconds in ramp, and they want to peek into bottom ramp to just get information. And this might not make sense, but for FaZe it would be round changing. If they can call that A site and ramp is cleared, this will free up at least one player to help mid or B. Rain walks up close to ramp on the left corner here, and he starts to hear some steps and you realize that they have fucked up. And here he walks back just to get behind the covers on scaffolding, while Mouse throws this god flash to fully blind anyone close or in the gap. And here the Galil of Exertion fights Rain, and then since Brokey took some time too long to throw the Molotov, he's able to kill Brokey as well. And just like that, the A site short is open. But FaZe still have a player that have gotten into sandbags, only problem is that the player have no utility, so sandbags position is kinda useless, or is it? While most have no multiples to clear it out, so the sandbag position will be better, since you might be able to kill two players from it, cause they have to manually clear it. And Kerrigan, as I said, finds two kills, and brings the game back to a 3v3, but let's just move the camera over to B. Here Jimpet have gotten full B side control, and Mouse can freely rotate over and take B site, a great fake by Mouse. And Mouse wins a round they shouldn't have won, after a bad retake attempt from FaZe. 
This is gonna be a quick rotation down in towards the B side, surely for Mouse. Surely. Yeah, yeah the bomb is be. making its way out. Yes, but still, two kills come back from Kerrigan. Now it is up to the Infat to find success here. 20 seconds of the bomb. Luckily for them, there's going to be no issues getting that planted. And FaZe, they will have heard the rotations away, so they're going to anticipate someone is close here. They are correct, but Yimfat's actually given them a lot of space. He hasn't really pushed that forward on the B bomb site, just playing around the generators. So it does allow good space for FaZe to work into this round. Three versus three. Carrigan has already got two on the dollar, but unfortunately, timing goes against him. And Yimfat. Even though if he just gets Ooh. one kill, he's probably done enough. But just spam, or, sorry, the um, just the swing onto twists. Mouse are back to abuse a site, and why not? Face have either been super passive in ramp or super aggressive, and Mouse will know how face are set up as soon as they can cross out of ramp and through the face smoke. While the rest of face are two in middle and one on B. Exertion on a great swing finds Kerrigan before Rain can trade, and Mouse know they have to take side fast now, or face will just rotate over and you will lose the round. But Mouse slows down since as long as Rain can't hear any steps, the mid players have to stay, since this might have been a fake all along, like two rounds ago. So Mouse takes it slowly, while Rain is alone on sight. But Mouse are a little bit too late, and you shouldn't be that when you're taking it slowly. And here FaZe have gotten 3 players on sight when the execute happens. Rain starts off by getting a kill and then is able to get to shore, but Frozen fast as ever gets a good trade with a molt of hair to make sure Rain is stuck on shore, before dying. And it's a 3v2. Twist finds one more kill, but the smoke in the ramp allows Mouse to be undetected and Mouse takes the round. I mean, they might have saved no kits, but they'll be swinging for it. Now, that will give them the energy and the life to go for this orb in a fantastic position. There's no way they can clear this, and especially going back to that point about no kits. Oof. Bomb is half ticked. They have to get a move on, and now Rops in a fairly unwinnable one versus two. Setup has been acquired. Rops is able to get the first. However, that crossfire is utilized with Torzi's orb. Last round, most tried a B take, and it did not go as well. Some bad team play lost them the round, but they're adapting quickly, and here are sending 3 players B, where Jimpad uses this ledge to walk on to spot stairs and make sure any people top stairs can't see him. And then they boost Torsi up, and his goal is to well look backside. But when Twist swings on the left, he's able to find a kill, and he's already opened up B. This kill forces FaZe to have now 2 players on B, 1 mid, and then one of the A players rotate to mid, so 1 on A. And this will all happen on B. And while all of this is happening on B, most have a player in ramp and Exertion finds Rain and have opened up sights. Just amazing to see Mouse realizing what they did wrong in the round prior and now turn it around to win the round with a good old fake. And I just love how they are playing around the face setup, where they know that as soon as they get that kill, one from mid will have to rotate, so one from A is like a domino effect. The B player falls, so now the mid player have to rotate and then the A player have to rotate, so now you can get a 1v1 on sight. Absolutely love to see it there. Rain caught on aggression again. Zertion is winning his duels towards ramp. This is making it impossible for FaZe to work with. Now, Zertion doesn't take that space. He doesn't fully capitalize on the opportunity. He didn't know there was no one else on the site. Now, Brokey able to reinvest his position, but he splits the goalpost on the peak there, not able to find anything. Round 11 shows us FaZe's biggest weakness of Vertigo, and that is the default setup and A hold. Let me explain. The normal way of playing Vertigo is 3 on A, 1 in middle and 1 on B, since A is so hard to retake, but FaZe are not doing this but rather having 1 or 2 on A and a more dynamic setup, and most are abusing this, since when you play these dynamic setups, as soon as one side loses a player, there have to be a rotation. So as we saw in round 10, when Twist died, FaZe had to get 2 players to come to B and made A way weaker. And in this round, most are playing on that by sending two players middle to ramp. And the goal is for the mid players to find an opening. So this will force an A player to rotate off. So most can walk into an A site and take the 1v1 fight. And here the mid players find Rob's boosted up. And this forces, as most predicted, an A player to walk up to middle to hold it. And this leaves Rain alone, as he's about to be pushed by Exertion that is walking up ramp right now. And FaZe loses sight like that. Rain gets a 1 for 1 trade, but a good nade from Torsi kills Rain. And Kerrigan trying to walk behind and get to ladder room dies to Frozen. And most have successfully played FaZe like a fiddle. And most do not even plant before Frozen lurk and come behind and get twist. And Mouse takes a round. Always next year. And I, I mean, yeah, that's what you, I thought you meant when you said it's in his blood. You can certainly see it in the server. They're clearing this boosted position what? as well. Rops immediately taken care of. Now he does great damage here. 
Is it just damage? Zershin is taking way too much space on this A side. He's going to have a position where he can certainly surprise here. They've given all this control. He's deep in towards elevator. He's got to call in for some troops here. There could be some worries, but as they rotate on in, Rain... Oh, he's perfectly flashed off the line. He does go down with a kill, but still that space has been established here already. He's going to be surrounded, encapsulated, and we're speaking of timing. It's pin perfect. Most of the T side was a master at just abusing how face were set up by always targeting A and barely touching mid or B. So when the mid or B take happens, face would over rotate and over react to it. All the wrong ways. While face CT side was just not ideal. They lacked commitment, where they rarely tried to take any control other than keeping side control. And I missed that from face on the CT side. As we saw earlier this week on Monday on the Mirage game where face won 12 0 versus Monty on Mirage. That was because they were not afraid to take in these ramp control, mid control and crazy gambles. Maybe they learn for next round. It's 2-12 and FaZe have gotten some SMGs and pistols. So how are they going to win this? To not allow Mouse to take the map. Well they start by just holding angles in hope that Mouse wants to peek them. And it's why they are all playing in off angles like we can see on Brokey and on Rain. To make it harder for Mouse to predict where to jiggle peek and where to aim. And Rain starts it all off by finding Torsi over peeking. And this allows FaZe to start a B execute. And to play on Mouse rotation, like Mouse did versus them. And this leaves middle open for FaZe to take. And just looking at Mouse, how they have no idea what is happening. Like look at Exertion FaZe when the execute happens. He have no clue. And we can see the B players are switching between stairs and middle. And this makes them miss two FaZe players rushing B site. And this was the fire I missed from FaZe on CT side. And by then, Rops have pushed up. A player tried to come behind to kill the two players going on to B. Rops find them and FaZe just runs them over, since Mouse gave away mid and after taking back B, they had no clue what to do after. Yeah, trying to communicate here, falling off of middle eventually, looking to help out. Get me over here towards middle. They're getting met by Molly's though, so they're not able to take the space that they want just yet. Instead, they're going to even take further ground in towards CT spawn. Finally, Rain going to start to facilitate that aggression here, but they're in towards the site as well. Jumping through the smoke here, Shui only good for one. Facing this round wants to take some early B side control, but the radiator smoke fails, gives Jimpet a great opening in it. And this is a big problem when this is the only smoke FaZe wants to use to take early side control. I can see why. Since FaZe don't want to go B, but rather use this push to force Mouse to rotate, since it worked so well in the other rounds. But it backfires and FaZe loses both B side players. And FaZe just can't win it. They two split up and die one by one. Maybe missing a Molotov oh, in the back no. of the quad, but there's a huge gap in the smoke here. Yemi looks to capitalize. He will. Immediately dispatches here of Kerrigan. And there's no trade from Twist just yet. Finally able to strike here, but chasing down. Yemi looking for the trade here. Will be able to find it eventually. Goes awry. Running Ooh. out of bullets. We'll have to reload, but does connect once more. Frozen. So aware. And Brokey, a one versus two clutch. Secures. And FaZe loses Vertigo just like that. 13-5. But FaZe ended up winning the match. But on Vertigo, for that to be a main map, they have to fix a lot of stuff. From their poor CT performance to understanding what the advantages this team have on maps like Vertigo versus the rest of the tier 1 teams. I will give them some hints. Aggression, brave pushes, and confidence. Thank you for watching and here are two videos you told me you would like. Bye.